What's going on guys, Tall Fisherman Jake here and today I am here on behalf of Carl's Mystery Tackle Box coming at you with an awesome video with some tips and tricks on how to catch peacock bass. Now down here in South Florida, peacock bass are thriving. They get so big, it's the season for them. They love the heat, they love that warm water. These fish are so fun to catch. They're one of the most aggressive freshwater fish out there. Now there are many ways to catch these fish and that is what I'm going to go over today. I got a lot of cool and interesting baits in my box this month. So I'm gonna go and show you some tips and tricks, how to tie these things up, how to use these baits, when to use them, all that stuff. So stay tuned, it's going to be a awesome video. All right guys, so the first bait that we're going to use out of the box is this beautiful Whopper Plopper Shad color. Now this is going to work pretty good now these peacock bass they love commotion this thing is going to be ripping across the top making all kinds of commotion they see that from the bottom and they just come up and absolutely destroy it whether it be a bedding pea that you run across their bed or just a pea that's swimming by he sees this he's going to absolutely want to wreck it so i have a feeling we're going to get a couple on this let's see how it goes hopefully there's some big giants out today so let's get started First fish of the day on the Whopper Flopper. Not a, not a peacock bass, but man, that blow up. Now I assumed we were gonna get some bass in the mix of today. These peacock and bass are all over this place, coexisting beautifully. But we're definitely after those big peas today, but we'll definitely take this guy. Not a bad first catch. That's a pretty cool blow off. Yeah. Nice guy on the whopper plopper blew up on it real big. Later, buddy. And he's off. All right, guys, next bait we're gonna use is the Jenko Fishing Rip Knocker, lipless crankbait in shad now this is a beautiful beautiful lipless crankbait comes with vmc hooks this thing is going to be killer on any bedding peas rip it past them or any kind of schooling peas that are feeding up on bait they just see this and think of it as a quick meal and they're going to snatch it right up so we're going to tie this up right now and see what we can do oh my gosh another bass these bass <laughs> These bass just won't give up. This is actually a really good sized bass. Bigger than the last one. Always getting in the way of the peas. Trying to work some peas. And this Mr. Bass just will not give me a break. A catch is a catch. We we'll definitely won't deny a catch from bass. But, got to get some peas on the board. There we go. Wrecked it right on the bank. Oh, we got a big one, boys. That is a good fish. For dramatic. Don't want to lose this guy. Oh, boy. Calm down. Look at that. Oh, he's like one hooked. No, no, no. Get up here. Woo! First pee of the day. Finally, those bass gave us a break on the Jenko Fishing's Rattle Trap. Look at that fish, you guys. That is just a beautiful South Florida peacock bass. Try to be careful. This one has not too big of a hump. I've seen bigger, but the colors on this thing is beautiful. The blue in his dorsal, the orange, the blue on his tail, the spot. These things are gorgeous. We're going to let this guy go. Try and catch some more. That Jenko lipless crank really, really does work. Gets these peas flared up. Oh, look at that beauty. You ready, buddy? Yes, he is. All right, guys, what we're going to try next is the Bass Dynasty 5-inch Dyna Paddle. It is in crazy plum. It's a nice translucent purple. Now, this is something, when it comes to peas, probably wouldn't work unless you can find a bedding pea because this is not a lure that you can kind of swim across or work in a school of bait. This is something that if you see a peacock, you're going to put it right on his bed. He's going to get pissed. He's probably going to pick it up and spit it out and try and move it off of his bed first. If you keep at it, he will get so mad, he's just gonna eat it. 
and you pretty much got them. So we're gonna rig this up and hopefully we can catch a couple betting ones today. We'll see what happens. All right, Bass Dynasty Worm going in. I actually have my eyes on a betting pee right here. I think it's a female. I don't see a hump on its head, but we'll see. We'll see if she bites. See if we can get her mad enough. Here we go. Got her. Oh my gosh. She completely wrecked that worm. You guys put it right on her head. Oh man, she's gonna jump, she's gonna jump. Oh my, oh, listen to this follower. Oh, there's followers, followers. Oh my God, there's an absolute giant follower, dude. Oh, 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 that's her. Oh follower man. Here. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a there tank is. follower. I don't know, he left. You saw that? Yeah, he was huge. He's probably like five, six pounds. Wow. Here we go, bringing in the female. That is the female as I thought. Look at that worm, just dangling. Man, what a hook set that was. Come up here, girl. Woo! Wow, what a strike. That thing completely wrecked the Bass Dynasty worm. Hook set right in the corner of the mouth. Oh yeah, look at that, you guys. By the skin of her lips. That is really, really close call, but we got her in. So what we're gonna try next is the Biospawn Exoswim 4 inch matched up with the Zone Lock 4 aught wide gap hook. Now we're gonna do the same method. We're gonna just pop them along banks, try and find some bedding peas, maybe some protective parents on a fry ball or something like that. Hopefully we can get a nice one on the Biospawn Exoswim. So let's go ahead and tie this on and see how it does. Oh, there we go. Oh my. oh my gosh. Right at the edge, dude, right on the bank. Came up and absolutely destroyed the swim bait. A little guy. Man, look at the colors. This one's super light. So beautiful, look at that. Wow. He just came up and wrecked it on the pop, on that pause. As soon as you twitch it and pause it, these things come up and swipe at it. Wow, what a take. All right, last and final bait that we're gonna to use today is the spinner bait. Now this is from Catch Co as well, and I feel like we're gonna do a really good job because of these things right here. This flash is gonna get them, they're gonna think it's a minnow, and they're gonna eat it. So let's go ahead and end off our day strong with an absolute toad. Here we go. Got one on the spinner bait, whoa! Right at the edge here, guys, right on the bank. Running that spinnerbait along this grass and rocks, these guys just destroy it. Get up here, buddy, calm down. Oh, doubled up. There we go. Another decent one on the Catch Coast spinnerbait. We will take it. Look at the definition of these guys. Wow. All right, you guys, that is going to do it today. That is all the time that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well as took some information away for when you guys want to try and catch peacock bass. Makes it a little bit easier. If you guys want to see more of me on the channel, make sure you leave a like on this video as well as a comment below telling me how much you guys enjoyed the content. Also, for all the latest and greatest fishing content, make sure you hit that subscribe button below as well as post notification. Turn those bad boys on. And until next time, I will see you guys later.